There you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Oh, this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. You are acting very weird, Mr. Admin. What's your game here? Game? Ha! Huh. Why, the greatest game of all. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the Sea Temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Champion, unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Flee, tiny beacon towers! Flee for your lives! Enough talk. Let's fight. Uh, uh, hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Ooh, he's powerful. Ah, so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of, uh... No, actually it doesn't. This is pretty bad. These people aren't gonna stand a chance, Jesse. They're in the eye of the storm. And you know what the tribe of Bukta say. Swords can't block wind. But a whole bunch of obsidian walls can. Structure block time. If you can cause a distraction, I can plant some of these guys. They'll help hold the city. No one's a better distraction than me. Go for it. Hey! Woohoo! Chew her and me, monster! I never liked Prismarine anyway. What a liar. Say that to my face and I'll show you who's lying. You are! Ha! I'll make you. Eat your words. Jesse. Oh. You are the best. It's a wave, Jesse. Thanks. Mean it. Ah, clever. Using my own structure block against me. The, the where's the structure block? Ha uh ha! -huh. Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. I guess the giant colossus did follow me home. Oh, hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. Soldiers back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol.
Ah! Oh, there we are. All right, Admin. You want to fight? You got one. Here I am. <laughs> ah! <laughs> You've been a little helpless, champion. I'm using champion there sarcastically. Hey, Rockface! Eat this! <laughs> What is that? Quick version? The admin. He, like, built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you alright? I mean, he really had you up there. Everything still in one piece? Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You can't Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. All right, girl. Let's see what you got. hi -ya! Done that, admin. Oh boy! Do you really ah. think you can defeat me, Jess? I don't think! I know! <laughs> Confidence. Was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies taste me! Oh man, those are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it?
works? Man, this thing could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? <sighs> you make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. I know you didn't think I was ready to watch a whole town, but I can watch a clock. I don't know, buddy. It's a pretty dangerous clock. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Uh, yeah, good. That's good. So, what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. It got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. I appreciate that. Feels... Pretty bad. We're gonna put the pieces back together, though. You'll see. And, um, when I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's, well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but it just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. I don't care if that life keeps trying to drag me back. I like Beacon Town. I like helping people. <sighs> That's great, then. I mean, the people clearly love you. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. Okay, we've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay. Let's see what we can do for you, buddy.
There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Come on, you remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. She should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah. I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was... artful. Uh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped, too. Ah, please. <laughs> it's true, though. I was pretty good back there. Whew! <laughs> that admin should consider himself lucky he didn't go after my shop. He would have really gotten a taste of the Midnight Thunder. <sighs> uh, that's, uh, me. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake has been reduced to some uh, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to... <laughs> Shut up. 
what you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about uh, for some day uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, quite. Wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar, but you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on, I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh... Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. But we haven't even rebuilt yet, Petra. Well, I didn't think you needed me for that. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait. You're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? Hold up. That was your idea of fun? Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. Oh, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Not again. You hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane. Hmm. You'll never get away with this. I know you have your plans or. Whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent? Or... incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. Ahem. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night. Forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs. Until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. You're putting innocent people in danger? Just for your games? Yeah, well, technically, you're the one putting them in danger if you don't go after the clock. So, uh, why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. What? Oh, come on. Time to show this goon what the Skitaro crag jumpers do to town destroyers. <laughs> You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, oh, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ugh. We need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone! Let's <laughs> go! 
I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Hey, Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. And now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh, man. Proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course. Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone. We've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise. I will come back. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. You stay safe, Nurm, okay? Hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. Block this up after we leave, would ya? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nurm. Hmm. We're all counting on you! I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. Stay close. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. We get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, We'll just need to find another, punchier way to convince him. Hey, Jesse. Uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh -huh. me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know, find myself? I just don't get it. Did I do something to make you angry? No, no, it's not about you. It's just something, something I need to do. I, I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you, that you didn't need me anymore. Petra, of course I need you. That's ridiculous. Ugh, see? This is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? 
I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. The open road, right? That's kind of what I thought too. that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Hush, I'm talking. Yeah. Hi, Stella. Hi? That's all you have to say for yourself. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella. The leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Boss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. It wasn't me that did this. It was the admin. Huh. I don't know who this Adam is, but it seems awfully rude to pin it on him. No. Admin. Admin. He's like... He's a big giant bad guy. Super powerful. Hmm. All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> uh, you okay, Radar? We need to keep an eye. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get there. <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Huh, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. Oh, 
I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait. Do you two know each other? Uh, yeah. I, uh... I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. Yeah, you've definitely changed, Radar. It's always important to try and grow. Yeah. And I promise, I'll make you proud. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite! Mystery levers! Many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not. How do I say this? Losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir. I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, hey? Eh? You watch it, Admin. And who exactly made you the judge? Um, my near infinite power? I thought that was obvious. Like I said, Radar, power runs the world. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with the whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. I'm here to save my town. Well, of course you are, because you're a hero! <laughs> it's awesome! Oh, 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 I am just ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so... How about we get this show on the road? Nice landing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Wait, but what about your people? Champion City! You're totally selling them out. Boy, do you think, Small. If I'm working with the admin, I'll be able to help Champion City even more. I hope. Wow. It's... it's amazing. Hmm. <laughs> You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. <laughs> How can we even be certain he's telling the truth? All I know is that I don't trust anything the admin says. Uh, I'd agree with that. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey! Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <clears throat> Hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Let's go, Luna. Well, that is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well. No one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task by it. Just uh, stating facts. We're all in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. <sighs> Fine. If something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. W wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Miss filing your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... that was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they think they, they look at me and my, well, my, my skinny little arms, and, and they think they know me. They think they know me? Well, they are wrong. Dead wrong! I mean, I have been an embarrassment sometimes, but it stops here. It ends today. And I... <clears throat> I guess I'm done. Sorry. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. And there are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the cock. That's it, Luna, darling. She's got the clock sent. <laughs> Later, losers. We're wasting time. Wait. It's like Jesse said. We can't trust the admin. Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? I could really use a hand over here. I'm going with them. Be safe, okay? Okay.
Strange woman and her llama go. No idea. I wanted to see if it really had the treasure sniffing power she said it did. I guess we got separated during that crazy roller coaster ride. This place is nuts. Yeah, no kidding. I'm not complaining about less time with Stella, but I hope that we can find Radar and Lucas again after we get the clock. Anything can happen to them. They're not exactly the most warriorish, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Hopefully they come out the other side all right. Yeah, I hope so too. Well, I'm just psyched to have you with us, Jesse. Just like old times, right? Well, I'm guessing none of your old times had you up against a villain as powerful as the admin, though. That guy is crazy powerful. And just plain crazy. Huh, no kidding! He puts any of our old foes to shame. Okay, I guess that's true. We've been through much worse than this. And you know what? It still feels good to be back in the proverbial saddle. Heck yeah to that. <sighs> yeah. Whew. Feels like the Sea Temple all over again. Yeah, I was feeling that too. Don't like it. I don't like anything this guy builds. Everything's decorated with dread. And garnished with doom. We got out of the Sea Temple in one piece. Yeah, I guess I could have lost worse than my soul. I hope. Oh, it is great to see you in here. You're my favorite group. True story. And I just know you're gonna demolish this room. It's simple. <laughs> All you need to do is find your way out. So we have to escape the room. I guess you could put it that way. You won't get any hints from me, though. <laughs> I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. I don't need your hints. This game will be over before it even gets started. See, now that's the kind of behavior I like to see in a champion. <laughs> Confident, cool under pressure. Oh, you'll go far. All right, it's time to get this proverbial party started. I am very excited to see how you do. Petros! Don't worry, they're right there. Now, will you be able to get them back out is the question. <laughs> oh, you just can't stop putting me in cages, can you? Oh, <laughs> you, you are a riot. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> Farewell now and... 